What's going on, noobs? It's your boy with Ricky back at it again. I got some Shining Resonance Refrain gameplay. Episode 3. Let's get it. Alright. So, the last thing we did, we had to go to the castle to talk to the king after we fought that griffin. So, we want to see the aftermath of. Um, what happened? Like, what? Like, I guess the guy Burroughs, he set us up. So now we're going to see his his recommendation on what we should do. Acting on your own again, Burroughs. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, old friend. Begging your pardon, Majesty. You know how it is. I just had to see the Shining Dragon's power for myself. The voice actor is pretty good. I understand Captain Burrow's reasoning, and I don't think I'm gonna pass comment. Not right now, anyway. But I will say this. Yuma fought with us, and he fought as hard as anyone else. There's no need to doubt Yuma's strength. Don't you agree, Captain? Is that so? Yes, Burrows. Let's have it. Mm. What's your assessment of Yuma's performance? With all due respect, of course, I have to disagree with my lady. From where I was standing, it seemed to me the Shining Dragon was a weapon of last resort. He hesitated, flinched under pressure. Hmm? Uh, that's... Yuma, answer me. You're afraid of your power, aren't you? Afraid? You may be right. The Dragon's power does frighten me, since... Since? I wonder what happened. Since... Ah, you've got your reasons, I suppose. But let me tell you, boy, until that changes, you're a liability, and you'll have a hard time fighting. Thanks. And that's all I've got to say on the matter, Majesty. Very well. I have no reason to doubt your assessment. What? My father! That will be all, Sonia. I suggest you return to the Seagull Inn and take a well-deserved rest. Am I understood? Yes, sir. If you'll excuse us. Damn. The boy fears nothing more than the Shining Dragon. It carries its soul within his breast. What a life that must be. Not exactly your typical trials of boyhood, are they? I trust you've seen the Galeritz reports by now. About the Princess Axella and these Draco Machina of hers. Unless I've missed my guess, the Imperials are making ready to change the face of this war, Burroughs. With those Draco Machina running unchecked, the Shining Dragon may well be our last hope. You gotta get we must together. have Yuma's aid. Everything rests on that boy's shoulders. Providence help him. Hey, Sonia. Why did you talk me up like that to your dad? You made me sound like a way bigger deal than I actually am. Would he have gotten... Uh, mad? If you hadn't covered for me, I... No, no, father's not like that at all. And I wasn't covering for you. I was believing in you. I do believe in you. Deep down, you have a brave heart. Huh? But I'm not brave at all. Yes, you are. You didn't want to fight with us, right? You were scared, but you fought anyway. That's bravery. That's yes, true. You can always be better than the person you were yesterday, Yuma. So please, believe in yourself. That's actually a good quote to live by. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Harmonics get tuned. Lyle's Tuning Studio. Where is that at? I just need to go back. Also, the loading screen is cool because they also show you the characters. There's a. Hey! Alright! So 
So tuning doesn't matter if you're a dragon there. So that means that anyone can do it then. It just makes you stronger. Lost it. So you can do all weapon the function so change the functionality of weapons. I need to do like basically quests for him to get it. Okay. Fishing and the more you use one in combat. Yeah, I noticed that. They're starting to get stronger. Oh, okay. So each thing has a different dragon skill. Oh, nice. Teammate? Everyone, remain calm. Get the wounded indoors and into the back room. Supplies, medical supplies. Do we have any bandages left? What the hell's going on? Hey, what's going on? What happened? A dragon attack, milady. It swooped down on us right outside the city walls. A dragon? Could it be a Draco Machina? No, I can't feel any of them nearby. Kurika, you. Yes, your radiance. All dragon souls emit an echo, a resonance. Divas uh, Magica attune themselves to it so we might commune. Resonance, I get it. If any exceptionally potent dragons are nearby, I should be able to feel them. It's a live dragon then? Not a Machina? I thought the greater dragons all died out a thousand years ago. Maybe we could capture it. Yes, the tales say as much, but they also say this, that long after a dragon's body and mind fade, the soul endures. The dragons died out? And something about their souls? Wait, that sounds like... Given the survival of his radiance, and the nature of the Machina, I wouldn't exactly discount the possibility of another living dragon. True. We're gonna need eyes on it either way. Let's get out there. Oh no, this is terrible. Emma, are Don't you Don't tell okay? me Primula oh, ran out. No, dear, it's just... Well, yep. I hadn't seen Primula for a while, and I... This? Let's see. Going to gather some ingredients back by sunset. Oh, um, She went outside the city walls go save before... Her. No. My baby girl. We'll find her, Emma. Yeah, let's go. I'll come go on. Too. Stop talking. Let's go. I appreciate it, Yuma. Thank you. Now, come on. All right, let's all ask. We gotta save our little shooty. Oh, 
Let's see what the run feature is. Well, I don't particularly see any dragons. Perhaps it left? That's good. Let's find her before... Hey, you guys. You're out looking for Primula, right? Because I saw her a couple hours ago. Oh, uh, her boyfriend, Rapple. What? Really? Do you know which way she was going? Please, tell us everything. I think she was bound for the plains. Probably the Ladlam Caverns on the far side. She goes out there alone a lot. Ugh, that's far too dangerous. And she's been doing this regularly? We can ask questions later. Right now, we should hurry after her. Facts. Let's go. Okay, campfires. So you sleep by them. Gives alchemies. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's camp. Let's see what camping and camping color we do. to talk to her. <laughs> Apparently you could take someone after hours to talk to. Hey Yuma, I've been thinking. What? What's that? Are you doing something with your hair? I don't know how you get it all smooth like that. Oh snap, she like your boy. She's feeling your boy. Do you mind if I touch it? Oh. oh. Sure, if you want. All right. Get touchy. Sonia, you're a little close. Oh, you better leave. Boy, you better take it. It is smooth. Is this seriously natural? 
Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair's just all dark and bulky. Giggity. She smells so nice. nice. Oh, you better be. Mmm. Mmm. Take it all Is in, boys. Is this what all girls smell like? Oh, yeah. Aw, I wish I had hair like yours. But your hair's so pretty. And it smells nice. And I'm trying to get them cheeks. Huh? <laughs> I, um, really? Oh, you got her blushing, boy. You in there. I don't really know how to react to My it. Say it like that. You're going to make me blush. Oh, um. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Yuma. Thanks. Oh, man. So that wasn't awkward or anything. Bro, you ask, it makes it awkward. No, no. It was nice, just unexpected. Boy. Night, Yuma. Okay. Good night, Sonia. That, oh, Sonia, look at like boy. Oh, wow, well, wow, you got a new trait. And, and for those, if you haven't seen episode one traits, you can use it to create bonds and whatnot. That makes you, people do more residents and team attacks together. So just by smelling her hair, bro, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, and she told you good morning. Oh, and she look, look at it. So we go to Bonds and see if we go to uh, Naima. Her, we have now we have set of black hair. Like, what? What? You know what I'm saying? So, let's save and then let's do this mission. to the caverns. Tails combat was like this. Like you had action points like that. It's so much better. Like the combat feels more fluid. Yeah, like Let's go. Go. Yeah. Uh, Double kill. I also wouldn't want to kill a lot of bosses because you don't know what materials they drop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
only like strong attack. We got these magic on him. It's magic. I'm still trying to understand when when going to that means. Miss Sonia. Hey, hey, it's all right. Nothing's gonna hurt you now, okay? I don't understand. The dragons are gone. Where could this one have come from? It uh, it probably came from a dragon soul. Huh? You said something like that before too. Do you know something we don't, Yuma? Yeah. When I was at Gale Ritz. I saw them making things with dragon souls. I mean, oh, wow. I didn't realize it at the time, but one of them looked an awful lot like a dragon. Impossible! That can't. Remember, they just put a, a soul in and take shapes. That is a possibility. What do you mean? Dragon souls behave unusually after death. When a dragon dies. Its body decays, its mind passes on, but the soul crystallizes mm -hmm. into a physical, tangible form. If the Empire's been researching ways to weaponize dragon energy, they're probably using these solid That's souls somehow. It only makes sense. That's... That's not all I saw. They're implanting regular monsters with dragon souls to power them up. They even tested what happens when you try it with a human subject. Oh, That's shit. That's grotesque. The Empire can't be allowed to continue those experiments. Uh, Miss Sonia, it hurts when you squeeze that tight. <laughs> oh, uh, oh I'm sorry. It's a scary thought, so I... If we're all done here, we should head back. Right. Come along now, Primula. Emma will be glad to see you safe. Okay. Awesome. That's nice. Yeah. I 
I can teleport back, I believe. I, I, I still don't understand the whole okay. transforming into the dragon thing. I'm still trying to learn and figure it out. Be careful! I'm glad we were able to save Primula, but I had to use his power again. I... I broke my promise to Mom. Hang in there, Mom. You're not gonna let this beat you. You can't. Come on. I'm sorry, Yuma. It's getting harder and harder to... I don't think... I don't think I can stay. Oh, oh shit. forgive me, Yuma, to leave you with such a burden. You don't deserve this. What, what kind of mother am I? No, you're a wonderful mom. Stop it. I, I love you. Okay, so please don't go. You can't die. Don't leave me all alone, mom. Oh, Yuma, no tears now. Don't cry. I'm going away, but you'll be safe. Just take this. What is it? It'll protect you for as long as you wear it. Put it on. Please. Oh, oh. Never lose it. Do you understand? Never. After I'm gone, this will keep you safe from the thing inside you. Tell me, Yuma. T tell me you understand. Please. I understand. That's my boy. <laughs> Mom! Always. Always keep it on, Yuma. Always. Treat it as you treat me. It has to be contained. It has to. Oh, my poor boy. I'll yeah. take good care of it. And I won't use the power, I promise. So please. Yuma, I'm sorry. Forgive me, you ma. Damn, poor kid. Now I see why he doesn't want to use it. It makes sense now. Mom? Mom! <laughs> Damn, kid. Now I understand. <laughs> So I guess I'm gonna stop it here, guys. Um, My mom. I'm gonna do some more research and try to understand how to stop myself from going berserk. But I'm glad we're able to save little Primula from being and getting hurt. But like I said, uh, episodes every Tuesdays. First Shiny Force. Um, if you haven't seen the Monster video that came out yesterday, definitely check it out. It's gonna, it's awesome. I'm back at it again. And um, and I have and Wednesdays be on the lookout for the sword out online. And also I may have some prep uh, this week, so definitely you know check out the channel and keep updated. But like I said, I hope you knew just guys some experience points. Senpai out. Love you.